Uh, the accounting subdirector and the Gibson's working really hard. We got one person online and the workload is enough for like 10 users. I think we got a hacker. Penn Gillette was particularly into hacking. That's how we know each other. When I was 12, I hacked into his computer systems and I was a huge fan of Penn and Teller. And he had set up a challenge, basically. He and Teller had set up a challenge where if you could hack their system, and I mean, this was like 1991. It was pretty complicated. You had to baud and the yellow teletype and the, you know, like all that, putting the phone in the cradle, uh, really kind of old school. Um, but if you hacked in, then he gave you directions on how and where to meet him. And so that's how I got to know him. So he was really ahead of his time um, with computers. Plan is like one of the smartest people on planet Earth. And I had seen his Penn and Teller in New York at the West Side Arts Theater. I think I went like three times. It blown my mind. So I kind of clung to him and I got to be in a lot of scenes with him. Never fear. I is here. I've narrowed the activity to Terminal 23. Let's echo 23, see what's up. I remember also though, Penn was like newer to acting on film. So doing it over and over and over again, I think was a bit new for Penn. I walk into auditions and say, if this is exactly the way you want your character to look and talk, I can deliver that. If you want the slightest shading of change, you're not gonna get that at all. You know, Fisher is different in each role. Lorraine Bracco is very different in each role. Penn Jillette just kind of, they changed the name and the credit. Although he did, was so used to performing and he was so spontaneous, I think he kind of threw out some great ad-libs as well. So it was, it was really fun working with him.